Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech Bits for a totally casual Friday afternoon. I want to be checking out over here on the right. I got this uh, white case from Newegg. I've always wanted to do something in a white case. And in the inside, being lit by a bunch of dollar M LED lights, I have a Xeon chip. And this is a relatively old Xeon, but of course Moore's Law ain't what it used to be. We can only make uh, those transistors and whatnot so small. And uh, the older stuff is actually pretty good. Here we have an E31275 version 3 at 3.5 gigahertz. My old computer guru, Joe Holliburn, is always like, Nevin, you never need a Xeon. You don't need a Xeon. Those, those are for servers, son. And I was like, screw you, Joe. I'm getting me a Xeon one day. And it took me a while, but I finally, ma finally managed to score one from the recycle center. This thing was being thrown out, and I have salvaged it. So let's see what we can get away with with some of the salvage, shall we? Once again, brought to you by Colonel Sanders. We're going to be running past Mark Benchmark 10. And uh, we'll come right back to you when it comes to the graphical part. Of course, at this point, we have no graphics card in the unit. And the displayed adapter, as you can see, is Intel HD Graphics uh, P4600 slash P4700. Yeah, this system might not have what you call newfangled hardware or video cards, but uh, it's got some stickers and it's got some RGB lights, and I think with the help of the kernel, that's really all I need. Okay, DirectX 9 going at about 12 frames per second. Not as bad as I thought it would have been, honestly. Here we got some DirectX 10 at about five six six frames per second max direct x 11 hitting 20 frames per second let's take a look and see what it's like when we actually hit the city and the jellyfish 16 frames per second 10 and we'll do a pivot and we'll see the earth and nine so yeah not as bad as i thought it was going to be honestly and direct x 12 actually pulling off at nine frames per second my good my good so right now i only have eight gigs of uh ram in there and the thing is if you have this onboard video it's uh, it's going to borrow from the ram so i wonder how much better i can make this if i add more ram so it should be said that like this is a chip right within this die at least of more recent units um, within that die is not only the CPU, but also a video card, and that's what we're running off, the video card on the CPU die. Okay, so the end result from this dumpster find was 2,408. This is definitely a great example of why we need to recycle more of the things that uh, we got going to the recycling center. Actually, let me rephrase that we need to reuse the things that are going to the recycling centers. Now, it can be difficult to find recycling centers that'll actually let you pick slash scavenge what they have. And there's a lot of that stuff that's actually still good. A lot of it gets uh, torn down and used, uh, remelted down. But still, the process of making this stuff takes carbon, carbon emissions. And so, yes, we break it down, but that makes carbon. And bringing it together again, that makes carbon. And uh, if we could just be building newer systems with this kind of stuff that gets thrown out, the world would really benefit. Things are definitely getting really warm, that's for sure. And I can go out and buy a system that is not as fast as this right now. Right now, you can go out to any Walmart and get a desktop or a laptop that'll only get you about uh, 240. I, I bought a lot, a mini PC, a $200 mini PC, uh, will get you less than 240 and this is 2000 it's it's interesting next stop i'm going to be dropping in the quattro k600 and uh seeing if it's going to help out the speed at all this unit is definitely old i think it's about 10 years old these days but still it's got uh dd gddr5 or is it three no it's three it's ddr3 Oh man, this thing is only one third as good as a GeForce GT 1030. I gotta say, I'm not a very big fan of when you first install video cards because the thing's not actually going to turn on 
until you got the drivers install installed. Until then, it's like Schrodenberg's cat. Is the cat alive? Is is the video card alive? Is it actually working? Is Windows saving everything, or is it updating the drivers? Got frickin' Schrodenberg's video card here. Do you guys remember Kamala? Unfortunately, the actor passed away, but um, maybe I shouldn't call him an actor. But uh, he made a pretty good CD, a pretty good uh, hit CD. There was a particular part of it that really fascinated me where he was flirting with a girl by leaving a condom on her uh, clothesline. Man, I miss wrestling like that. Oh, wow. Okay, the Quadro 600 unit actually brought the score down. I knew this unit was old, but I didn't know it was that old. Next up, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be maxing the system out with the best video card that I have. It's a Quattro uh, K4000. Let's see how she goes. And blam, just like that. Anyways, this unit over here is the exact same motherboard, the exact same CPU. I got a better GPU in it, and I got 16 gigabytes RAM, whereas the last one only had 8. So, uh, let's take this one for a spin and see what kind of score we get. My daughter calls this system Pinkie Pie, because that's her favorite My Little Pony, and this thing's pink as F. As you can see, we are totally decked out with RGB, so you know it's fast. It's not fast if it doesn't have the RGB. All right, folks, here we go. Let's talk more rock. Let's whip them out and measure them. Pass mark 10, here we go. We got those Direct X9 jets going by at 53 frames per second. Not so bad, my guys. Here we got Direct X10 running at a uh, high 18 frames per second. Not bad, man. It really does help to put RGB lights in your computers, right? Checking out them space jellyfish at 66 frames per second. Mmm, that's a seamless tilt there to the earth not glitching at all this is pretty good next up we have direct x12 25 frames per second and moving pretty seamlessly if i do say so myself so yeah that is definitely a significant difference it's definitely a situation where if you throw in a powerful video card this girl still got some strength in her so on Grand Theft Auto 5, I'm getting a solid 30 frames per second, but it just looks so good. Like, I've gotten 30 frames per second on this thing before, and it just, it didn't look good at all. But this, it looks really nice. Alright, taking a look at Fortnite next, we get 60 frames per second, everything's looking really good. Gonna have a talk with the orb and see if there's anyone man enough to fight me in the middle. Oh yeah, ladies. So yeah, I definitely gotta say, she plays so smooth. Oh, look how bad. Cyberpunk. <laughs> oh my goodness. I better turn that down or I'm gonna get demonetized. Cyberpunk, five frames per second. <laughs> oh man. Well, I couldn't, uh, I, I couldn't ask for, for too much from this system, I guess. All right, folks, that's pretty much all I got for you today. That's it from me, Kamala the Ugandan Giant, and Colonel Sanders. Checking out the Intel Xeon E3-1275 version 3. Good stuff. Definitely really cheap. Worth dragging out of the scrap bin and uh, throwing together in a DIY computer. That's it from me, folks. Like and subscribe and all that YouTube stuff. More importantly, folks, take care of each other. Have a good one.